Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Boomi World 2018. Brought to you by Dell Boomi. Welcome back to theCUBE. We've been live all day at Boomi World 2018 in Las Vegas. I'm Lisa Martin with John Furrier. John, this is the second annual Boomi World. The first time theCUBE is here, we've had a great day. Started things off with Michael Dell, who I, I really found it um, very telling that Boomi as a business unit of Dell Technologies, that the CEO of Dell Technologies comes here to kick things off this morning. What is your impression, of ta after talking with Michael, some of the folks from Boomi, what is your impression of Boomi? Well, I think Michael Dell has talked about, you know, he always talks the same talking points, because so, we've done him so many times. He's got the traditional Dell business, Dell Technologies, which is foundational, he got EMC, merger of equals, but he's quietly been incubating some key flagship uh, directions. One is VMware, which hasn't been incubated. It is, it is with a, a market leader in virtualization, the relationship with Amazon. So VMware is kind of its own living, it's like the main flagship. Pivotal has been really core. So he talks about VMware, Pivotal, and the portfolio of Dell Technologies. So I think to me the big takeaway from this event is that Dell Boomi is the third flagship of the kind of the armada of Dell's future. So having Michael be here, he could be, he could be at VMware in Europe in Barcelona, he's here. He sees Boomi as a core linchpin to connect into the growth of, of Pivotal, which has been growing off VMware, and now you got Boomi coming up the rear saying, hey, we can, we could actually tie stuff together, and they solve a problem that the average productivity developer or IT person who doesn't want to write a lot of code, they call it low code, to deliver kind of the assembly and integration of the next generation applications. So net new applications while improving existing. And this is under a category called you know, integrated platform as a service at an enterprise level. So I think Boomi is becoming a strategic part of the Dell playbook. I think that's a big surprise to me because you know, Boomi is known, but their growth has been phenomenal, 80% numbers he said. So, so this is kind of a coming out party for Boomi in the sense that this is real. I'm curious though, why do you think, so the Dell Technologies companies, Pivotal, RSA, VMware you mentioned, Dell EMC, uh, VirtuStream, why is it that you think that Dell Boomi is a business unit of Dell Technologies and not one of those, part of the, the seven, eight standalone companies? Well they bought them eight years ago and it's, it's evolving so it's, it's organically grown and it's on a relevant wave. The relevant wave is cloud native, cloud scale, with data as a value proposition that has to scale horizontally. So from different databases you want to pull that data in real time. That's a key integration point whether it's APIs for stateless applications or having state associated with data. This is the battleground you're seeing with Kubernetes, you're seeing it with you know, um, network services at, at the microservice level, so they solve a big problem. The rest of Dell is just a massively huge portfolio of products that solve the enterprise other problems. So you, why have 26 vendors, he said, when you can go to Dell and get all the basic things you need, but have an enabler for the future, and that is really about having that bridge to the future, and that's what Michael wants, and that's what Dell's doing, is they're saying, look, it, VMware runs your stuff and a lot of stuff around it, Pivotal's going to integrate you in with cloud, cloud native, with Cloud Foundry, and do all these things, and Boomi's going to help tie it all together. That's a nice value proposition that gives customers comfort in my opinion. I think that's a good story, and I think Boomi could be a big part of that piece of the puzzle. We heard a lot about trust today. We hear a lot about trust, John, at every event. You know, yeah. we're talking about data needs to be trusted, but Dell Technologies and Boomi as well, Dell Boomi as a trusted advisor, you mentioned the growth numbers, I think 80% last quarter that Michael Dell shared this morning, Chris McNabb, the yeah. Boomi CEO also talked about that. But they've also grown this event. This event has doubled in its second year. Yeah. It's gotten too big for San Francisco. They have 7,500 plus customers and counting globally. They're adding five new customers a day. Yeah. One of the things that really I heard pervasively throughout the day is how symbiotic Del Boomi is with their customers, with their employees, and with their partner ecosystem. So they now come and say, mm. the, the iPaaS market, uh, fifth year in a row as a leader in the Gartner MQ, but now they, they've come out and said today, we want to redefine the I in iPaaS. iPaaS mm. is a, um, a well-established market. They're now saying, we're going to use intelligence, and I think it was north of almost 30 terabytes of anonymous metadata, and Michael, as Michael has said a number of times, companies need to be using their data 
as a way to identify yeah. their competitive advantage, and they're doing that. Well, that's a core value proposition. I think Boomi is undervalued, in my opinion, the way the market sees them, because no one has yet valued how important the insights are out of it, because people are now just starting to operationalize this notion of, well, I can get insights out of a, a legacy value critical mission system in a cloud native environment. So there's, there's these new value propositions that are emerging, and Boomi, it's easy to say, hey, on the face of the numbers, okay, the purchase price per customer is low, but the value's high, the value of the data is high, so you know, I think the only thing I think Boomi's, Boomi's got working against it is its own success could be a problem on the, on the ticket. So I think there's a lot more revenue around Dell than what Boomi's doing that, um, on a straight product basis. So they got a great product market fit, check the box there, and that's a great thing. The question is, if I'm a competitor, I can say, oh, I'm going to put them in a box because, but they do more. There's so much more going on around Boomi that I think Dell's smart to saying, okay, the purchase price that they're going to get in bookings revenue is X, but the value's high enough, that's why the growth is there on the sales side, but the actual contribution to overall Dell is much higher. So I think Boomi could be a very strategic piece of the puzzle for Dell. It really sounded like that today from, the, from Michael Dell on down, and they came out today and said boldly, Dell Boomi is your transformation partner. Mm -hmm. Really carrying on the theme of Dell Technologies World, which theCUBE was at just about six months ago, which was all about digital transformation, IT transformation, security transformation, workforce transformation. Yeah. That theme at Dell Technologies World of um, the platform of the possible extended here with Boomi, unlimited possibilities. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think people look at the, the cloud and they're trying to figure it out, and I think it's pretty clear that SaaS business model shows the scale, but there's also be an analogy, there used to be an analogy in the business where, oh, it's kind of like uh, McDonald's or a fast food, and people always move from station to station. In IT, people are now wearing, wearing multiple hats, so you're going to see the, the trend move towards multiple hats, people wearing multiple hats and managing multiple things. Boomi allows that to happen because when they do integration, they don't have to go back and fix it. So you can ship it and move on to the next thing, which could be another task. So I think the people management side of the culture of DevOps is a big uh, thing. And Michael talked about that, you know, the, the people culture, the change management, that's really challenging. And, I, and we asked him to share, well, Dell Technologies yeah. now, 34 years after he started his business in his dorm room with $1,000, uh, probably couldn't have imagined that it is becoming what it is, but this is an organization that has transformed itself dramatically and had to transform mm -hmm. its people and culture to, yeah. I would argue, be, be the fuel for that digital IT security transformation. It's the fuel for the rocket ship, and that's what you know, Dell was talking about. So it's, it's very interesting to see how they play it out, but I, I think Boomi's got some up, upside big time for Dell, and I think the, the customer traction shows that the data value and integrating fast and having that low code automation is a winning formula. It's in line with where VMware is going, it's in line with what Pivotal's doing, and it's in line with this digital transformation trend. I think that's what they're talking about. Well, I enjoyed hosting with you today, yeah, John. I think it was a really interesting event, and I love unpacking things like integration. It's so much more than that, and they did a great job of articulating yeah. We talked about today. Kubernetes, too. Those Kubernetes came out of the right. cube, too. Always good to get those Kubernetes uh, sound bites. We talked about blockchain as well, yeah. and how Boomi and partners are enabling customers to, to really take advantage of, of blockchain. They are announcing some, some support with that. Um, IOT, as Michael yeah. said, speaking of Boom and Boomi, there's going to be a boom at the edge. And he t yeah. he, again, that was a theme from Dell Technologies World that came here today, and some of the customers, the last customer we just had on. Yeah, I mean, the thing that, that I'd say too, Boomi's got this cool vibe going on, but remember, Boomi was born in the cloud. That means they're cloud native. All their stuff is cloud, so they understand the culture that they're selling into. Right. And I think that gives Dell a cool factor here, and very cool and relevant uh, with the trend line. So I think they got a good opportunity. Great, great to host with you, great time. Excellent, well thanks, John. Thanks. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. Lisa Martin for John Furrier from Boomy World 18. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.